Yo what's up guys it's Pulkit Balotia here back again with another episode of the top android app series and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the top 10 android apps for the June 2017 so yep without wasting any more time let's jump right into the applications Before starting up with the video let me tell you guys that all the apps featured in this video are free to install and you can download them from the link given in the description down below So yep starting up with the first app on our list and it's called Mac Stars It's a movie search engine that also serves as a download helper You can pick from the latest and popular list or you can just search for a specific movie Currently the app which has data from major two torrent websites namely the YTS and the Pirate Bay The app will let you download the torrent files and then you can download full movies through the torrent clients. This is kind of against Google's policy, but some surprise it's still live on the Play Store. Go download the app and your movies soon before the Google takes it down. Moving on to the next app on our list and it's called Posteroid. This app allows you to make some pretty neat graphic posters with pictures that you have taken or downloaded. You have got different photo filters, text font, font sizes and a lot more. Using this app is pretty simple and you can come out making some pretty legit looking stuff. The UI and design is also easy to understand. So you should definitely give this app a shot. Now let's talk about the next app on our list and it's called Minimal Footballer Wallpapers. This is a wallpaper app but what's cool about this app is that all the wallpapers are of footballers and are minimal. I do love this app a lot. Each wallpaper is just so well designed and neat. All the wallpapers are presented with vibrant colors to lighten up your home screen. Each wallpaper is presented with two or more color variants, so you get many choices here. You will get minimal wallpapers of some very well-known footballers and the new ones also get added time to time. The app has some very cool features like you can share the wallpapers, add them to your favorites or even crop their sizes. So if you are a football fan, You should surely give this app a try. Now let's move on to the next app on the list and it's called Geometric Weather. This is a super simple weather app that's got a very nice and clean material design interface. You get a 15 days weather forecast as well as the forecast for the next 24 hours and you also get a bunch of widgets to toss on your home screen. You can also check weather of any different area. Overall, it's a nice weather app with easy to use interface. and you should give it a try moving on to the next app on our list and it's called grammarpel this app is just for you if you do a lot of errors so whenever you are typing a small reflet icon will pop up and after you are done typing just press it it will analyze whatever you have written and let you know the errors you have made it will search for grammatical errors spelling errors and then suggest you for replacements and it works everywhere in text writing apps or in messenger Basically whenever you need to type you just have to give this app overlay permissions and you are good to go The app is good and is perfect for the people like me Now let's move on to the next app on the list and it's Shapical Today we all capture great photos with our smartphone we then edit them using best apps and softwares available but still there is so much room for uniqueness to occupy that space of uniqueness we have got Shapical This app lets you add unique and sharp geometrical shapes to your photos. This adds some extra fire to your pictures. It's a very simple to use. Just select the shape and adjust it however you like it. You can blur some parts, add some filters and do a lot more. The app has easy to use interface and clean design which makes the editing process incredible fun. Moving on to the next app on our list, we have got Cinetrack. Well, Cinetrack is an app which gives you a shit load of information on movies. From movies ratings to cast, the similar movies and everything in between, it's all there. There is almost each movie information here. The app is unreleased and it's still in development, so there might be few bugs here and there. The app follows the material design with great UI, and if you are a movie lover, then this app is just for you. Taking a look at the next app we have got AutoHash. Put this app gets you the hashtags for your pictures. Open the app up, import your pictures and just give it few seconds to do its magic. It will get you bunch of hashtags that are relevant to your picture and you can directly copy it to your clipboard. This app can be particularly useful for Instagram. I have been using it a lot myself lately and it just works. 
And yes, speaking about Instagram, you should definitely follow me for some fun BTS, cool pictures and stuff. Up next on the list we have got Smart Wallpaper. This is a wallpaper application with a twist in that rather than selecting one wallpaper each time, you are personalizing your home screen. This app will change the wallpaper depending on what you set the app to. For example, you can set the wallpapers to change depending on the weather, what part of the day it is, what day of the week it is, or you can set it to randomly select wallpapers. It's super easy to use interface with a host of really attractive images to choose from. If you are looking to really take your home screen to the next level, then this app might be worth considering. Moving on to the last app on the list we have got Icon Pack Studio. This app will allow you to actually create your own icon pack. You can change the icon's shape, background, you can add special effects and a lot more. This is a serious addition to the Android customization space and it's especially great for those that enjoy making their own stuff. The app is pretty easy to use and it is supported by most of the major Android launchers out there. You should definitely give this app a go. But yes, that wraps it up for this video. If you like what you saw, consider liking and subscribing. It's been Pulkit, signing off. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in my next video.